Alright guys, it's Mosquito here again. Uh, I wanted to do some update videos on um, my fish tanks. Uh, here's the newt tank again, and the newt's out this time. So, it's a uh, paddle tailed newt, got a real wide tail. Um, usually he hides inside this filter. Uh, uh, that's, that's his hangout spot. Um, there's a horned, nerite horned snail which I would love to get more of these. They're pretty efficient at uh, taking out algae. And they have neat little little horns on their shells. Um, there's my, uh, those new angelfish that I got. The color on them uh, is coming out really nice. Um, I'm pretty pleased with that. There's some kind of deficiency in my plants. There's a couple, there's a couple leaves. They, they just might, they might just be old. I'm not sure that there's a, there's a starter coming off of it, but there's a whole bunch of leaves that are kind of falling apart like that. So I think it's a deficiency. I uh, I cleaned out the filter today, um, and uh, did a water change and scooped out a whole bunch of duckweed off the top. Uh, that's what this is on the side right here. I haven't scraped it off yet. Um, but that's really neat. I love the the Java moss right there. Uh, how it's bushing. It it attached itself and then it attached itself down there. Uh, I didn't put it there. It just randomly started growing. Um, uh, this tank is coming along pretty nice. I would eventually like to dirt it though. Uh, the plants would do a lot better. Um, and here's the goldfish tank. I put the skull back in for my pleco. He's inside the skull right there. Uh, it's the flying fox. Um, some fancy tail goldfish. He's getting some really nice yellowing color on him. Uh, when I first got him, he was just solid white, but as you can see, his tail has that like yellowish tint to it. Um, that fish is the lone survivor of when I was doing the aquaponics. I bought a dozen feeder goldfish, and that is the only one that survived. It's uh, it's probably doubled in size. Uh, there's a, I think it's like a calico fancy tail or something like that. Um, uh, I'm I'm gonna be pumped when these start getting really big. I I like big goldfish. Uh, they're neat. Uh, there's a large snail, and I put duckweed in here, and that's basically that's all they eat. I don't need to put f food in here for anything other than the uh, flying fox and the and the pleco. And they they eat the the goldfish still eat the fish food, but they don't have to. They like you can see there's just there's some waste. It's just solid green because they've been eating duckweed. Uh, and then I have, I just have this, uh, I forget what it's called right now, it's a house plant, uh, philodendron maybe. Uh, it's been at, it's been with the goldfish since these were outside in the back porch, uh, so like the most of the summer, and it, it's, it's grown a lot. It was just, it was hanging like right here when I put it in, so it's doing pretty good. Uh, and then... The last one, which I got some new additions for. Now this tank is pretty dirty. Um, algae's everywhere, so I went and I got some, uh, I think they're ram horned snails or something like that. They, The shells have that twist to them like uh, Princess Leia's hair or or a ram horn would. Um, the penny wart started breaking apart, so I just put it back down in the ground, and it seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, I do need to clean off the glass. Um, I did buy the snails, but it's going to take, they won't be able to clean it all. I need to get in here and scrub it down. I changed out the filter today and did a water change, but I just need to do a little bit of scrubbing and make it look a little better. Um, but that is the new addition right there. It is a balloon belly ram. I don't know if it's going to zoom in or not. You can't really see the color on it. Uh, this fish has amazing oranges on the top of its fin right there. Uh, just solid orange. And the, this video is not giving, is not giving it enough. Uh, you can see the color all over it. Its face is super bright. Um, its whole body is is like that. I wish you guys could see that. Uh, oh, just freaking out a little bit. Uh, 
here. And, uh, I have a feeling he's, uh, he's stressed out since I just put him in the tank. He's new, so he's probably, he's got to get time to acclimate to it. Uh, once he starts getting used to the aquarium, uh, his colors will start coming back. He was really, really bright at the pet shop. Um, so that'll be pretty awesome. Uh, this Val, jungle Val right here, grows so well. Uh, I started with one plant. And then it branched off into two other plants, which are just as big as the mother. And I've trimmed it twice already, and I'm going to have to go in and trim it again, because it's starting to block light for the plants down here, and uh, I don't really want it to do that. Um, and then the other plant, the banana plant back there, is losing all of its big leaves on the plant, but it keeps shooting up runners and making lily pads. There are three lily pads already. It looks like there's a fourth getting ready to start right there. I'm not sure. Uh, it might be a leaf. I'm I'm hoping it is because I want the plant to get bigger. Um, but these lily pads are are pretty big. Like that's my thumb on a lily pad. That's the first one. That's the biggest one that I have. Um, it's pretty neat. <laughs> it's kind of tempting for me to put a frog in here, but I know that it wouldn't work because it would just jump out. So um, yeah, this tank's got a lot of work to do on it to get it looking nice but I, I'm really liking uh, the overall look of it uh, from a distance the plants are doing really well uh, I can't wait until they start filling in and getting really really thick um, just watching the fish swim in and out of the plants is really relaxing uh, I don't know what it is about it it's just really nice um, so yeah alright guys thanks for tuning in